Hi guys. So today I decided to make a bird feeder. Um, you're gonna need a couple of things. So you're gonna need some bird seed and some unflavored gelatin and of course a bowl and a couple of cookie cutters. Um, I got these at Walmart for like 20 cents. Um, it's the only ones I could find. So they're Christmassy, but hey, whatever works, it's for your birds. So first thing you're gonna need is one pack of the gelatin mix and a quarter cup of boiling water. Um, so make sure you have mom and dad to help you um, boil the water and pour it. Um, and then you're gonna mix that. You're also gonna need some wax paper because that's what you're going to use or what you're going to use to um, put your bird seeds on um, and a measuring cup. So pour your gelatin into your bowl. Sorry, my kid was screaming in the background. So pour your gelatin into your bowl, then pour in your quarter cup of water. Remember, it's boiling and mix until completely dissolved. Once dissolved, you can add in your bird seed. I add in three quarters of a cup of bird seed. and mix that in really well. So make sure you mix in the gelatin all the way through. And it's not gonna get hard right away, but we wanna make sure that the gelatin is mixed in really, really well. So that when you put it in your, <coughs> excuse me, in your cookie cutter, um, the seeds won't fall out. So once it's um, mixed in really well, you're gonna take your seeds and you're going to um, Put it in your in your cookie cutters. Um, just make sure you're putting just a little bit at a time, and then making sure that you're pushing down in it um, to make sure that it's nice and, and packed in. So just make sure you're spooning it in and pushing it down. I got this bird seed at the 99 cent store. and it seems to work okay, and the birds really seem to like it. So once you've got it pretty well packed in there, you can either leave it out um, for a couple hours and it'll harden, or you can put it in the fridge and it will harden um, a little bit faster. I usually just um, put it in the fridge because it hardens pretty fast and then um, maybe half an hour as opposed to leaving it out on the counter but you can leave it out on the counter it, it works it'll it'll harden okay so once they've been in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so or, or if you left them out once they're set you can start taking them out of the cookie cutter shapes so here's my finished ones um, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed so that you guys can watch me take them apart but if not, I may have to do it differently. Nope, I'm gonna have to use both my hands. So, okay, I'm gonna take them out and then I, I will show you the finished product. Okay, so once you take it out of the mold, the one thing I did forget to mention um, that would be a good idea to do um, is either have a plastic needle like this that you can um, put through uh, the seeds so that you can hang it or um, an, another option would be cut a little piece of straw and push it in there where it's just have it stick out a little bit. Um, I have the needle, so I didn't do the straw, um, but just put the, the straw in a little bit, cut it, um, and that way when it's hard and just take that little straw out and it leaves the hole ready for you to string it with a piece of yarn. But I have a needle and, and some um, yarn that I'm gonna use. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to show you guys. Okay, so there's my finished star. Um, I'm gonna take the needle and just um, put it somewhere where it's nice and thick. Like I wouldn't put it up here, it'll fall off really quick. Um, I'm gonna put it about right here and just kind of shove it through. And sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, so it's a little, a little tricky. And that is your bird feeder. So then you can hang it outside wherever you've seen um, 
the birds flying around or whatever or where you know that they come to like eat some snacks um, and enjoy your bird feeder um, go ahead and leave any questions or comments at the very bottom of the of the screen um, type anything in down there down there and then um, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can um, and I'm so glad that you guys got to visit with me for a little bit have a good one guys bye